in expectation and excitement. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio Portugal, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them. In their droves for this match, why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town. And uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make it in with a header. It's broken loose. Shoots. Rudiger is there to heave it away. Casemiro gets on the end of it. Chance! And another crack at goal. It's been a high tempo start. Oh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And it's Casemiro. Conte. Casemiro. Hoists it forward. And he's on his way. He's through it. And a shot. He's delivered all right! And that really is so, so impressive. Werner showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. <laughs> Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Real Madrid are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. Well, the task is obviously a lot tougher and they can't afford to waste time feeling sorry for themselves. The correct response is greater focus and work rate now, and especially, especially avoiding another goal. It's Kroos! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Thiago Silva. And it's played forward. Jorginho. Jorginho needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Cruz. And here's Azar. And he heaves it forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Rudiger. Real Madrid are seeing plenty of the ball at the moment, but still they trail. Casemiro. Benzema. Forward it goes. Jorginho plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Werner. 
Shot at goal! They just took too long getting forward. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back, and they were just too slow. They've played it short. Looks to set one up. Plays it back. Dashing forward at pace. Brings it forward. Has a hit! And the ball's come out! Modric. He can get that clear. Ball is over the line. And it's Modric. He's in! Rudiger tries to get it forward quickly. Defenders on the back foot. He's going after it. Benzema. That intervention was very necessary. Pulisic. Half time getting close now. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Rudiger drives it forward. Werner. Tony Kroos. Kroos goes looking. He's got away. Thiago Silva, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Gets it upfield. Conte. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is better. better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. Already up and running for the second half. Real Madrid need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Ball's loose. Who's getting... Zena! That comes as a mighty relief. And it's Tony Kroos. Tony Kroos, and here's Azar. There's the delivery. Great leap! Sticks it away! The second half sparks straight into life. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met. It really was. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Real Madrid grabbed the equaliser, and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Werner. Werner proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Azar. And the counter is on. And it's Azar. Now it's Isco. Hits one! What a wonderful goal!
Real Madrid are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Isco. He's left his man. Forward it goes. Now the counter. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ver He's had a go! Oh, the ball's come loose. Chelsea showing a little more urgency now. And to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. He's had a shot! Conte. Zayek. Modric. Hazard. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. Gets away from his opponents. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. It's Asa! He's looked long this time. Varane does well to read it and intercepts. Out of play for a throw. Modric. Azar. Benzema. Cleared away. That's a throw. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. And it's Modric. And the shot! Kante can hoist it clear. Real Madrid are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Kroos with a delicate ball. This is good ball retention. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Real Madrid are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Now it's Kante. Kante plays it out to the flank. Delivers a cross. Has a hit! Oh, should have been the equaliser. Yeah, he was just a little too eager to get his chance away there. And it could have level matters. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Pulisic plays it out to the wing. Chelsea are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's Benzema. Real Madrid certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Jorginho drives it forward.
Almost there, and the players can feel it. Rafael Varane. The final seconds now. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Real Madrid, winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen, and won.